Good morning, Polly. How are you today? Hi, Dr. Practitioner Robin. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I thought today we'd go over maybe some testing. Oh, yeah, okay. so you came to me last week with a lot of symptoms and we're feeling pretty miserable. A whole laundry list. Yeah, you had quite a few things. So I thought we would talk about doing um, testing so we can find out exactly where your hormones are at and that will better help me um, direct where to or what kind of hormones that you might need or what we need to replace. Perfect. Anything. So I would thought we would do a saliva test. That's what my preferred method of testing would be. As in like your spit? Mm -hmm. um, why not? Why not blood work? Well, so blood work can tell you about the hormones, but when you check uh, hormones in a blood test, it's telling you how much horm total hormones you have, but you might not have, they can be bound up by proteins, kind of like your horm hormones are in jail. Oh. Yeah, so just because it gives you a certain uh, number or a certain lab level doesn't mean that you necessarily have all those hormones available to you to use. Okay. So if we do a saliva test, that measures the unbound portion, what's available to you to use. So then I have a really much better idea. So I feel like this is more accurate. We can do it by blood, but this is what I would prefer. Okay. Well, okay, so as far as um, cash money flow, how, how much, how much, how many dollars are we talking here? Yeah. So if we check estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, DHEA, and one cortisol level, that's $130. Oh. Totally doable. Yeah, so you can get into more expense, and that comes in if we start checking more cortisol levels. We can check two cortisol levels, we can check four cortisol levels, and that gets up to about $220, which can be, you know, a lot more expensive. Mm -hmm. Typically, I just do the one test. Okay. But if you're really interested in uh, your adrenals, then probably all four tests, all four tubes would be would be advisable. Okay. So what you get is a kit, and I, there's a lot of companies out there that do it. The one I most often use is called ZRT Labs. They do have some interesting uh, information online, ZRT.com. If you want to read about the hormones or about the testing, that will be a good place to, to start. ZRT.com. Yeah, ZRT.com. So you get a kit with all, everything that you need in it. And what you're going to do is first 30 minutes out of bed is fill this tube up halfway with spit. Okay. Yeah. So it wow. can't be bubbles, but it has to be pure saliva. Can I brush my teeth first? No. Oh, yeah. okay. No exercise. You can't brush your teeth. You just first half an hour out of bed, you have to collect the saliva. Okay. Okay. Um, and if you can't get enough spit, you can like push your tongue to the top of your mouth, you can smell some cooking food, uh, you can get some wax from the grocery store, like for paraffin. To chew on? To chew on. Oh, okay, that, so it doesn't help. contaminate mm, the test. It doesn't contaminate, yeah. Great. So if you're having menstrual cycles, we were, we're going to collect this on day 19, 20, or 21, because we're trying to catch you at the peak of your progesterone level. I don't need to worry about oh, that. Oh, you don't need to worry about that, okay. No. So if you're not having menstrual cycles, you can collect it any day, which is pretty pretty good. Okay, so, great. All right, so that's one, two. If we want to check other cortisol levels, again, checking on your adrenal health, we could collect a tube at noon, one at five, and one uh, before you go to bed. And this would be for the person who's just so fatigued, they've tried everything, nothing's getting better, uh, they're having a lot of trouble sleeping, or they, they start off pretty good in the morning, but then they're really tired in the afternoon, and then get a spike in the evening or before bed. This might be another option, and those are just more tubes. Okay. Okay. Right. So the other thing you'll need to do is to make sure that you fill out all the paperwork, but there's a symptom questionnaire, and I think you had better than 19 or so symptoms last week, right? I had a lot. Mm -hmm. There's probably even 30 or so symptoms listed on here. And you'll just fill in from zero to three. Zero, you're not having any symptom at all. To three, it's, it's pretty, it's really terrible. Wow. So this will help the lab. This is all subjective information. So there's lots of things on here you can see that we didn't even discuss last week. I know. Yeah. This so, looks like it's describing my life on here, right. all these symptoms. Oh things that you wouldn't even think of. Slow pulse rate, thin skin, hearing loss. So. Wow. So if, unfortunately, you're having a lot of symptoms, but fortunately, you're not having all of them, which yeah. is really good. Thankfully. Yeah. yeah. Could so, be worse. It could be worse. So you um, put all of this back in the in the box that it came in, and it comes with a little UPS bag. I'm just gonna stick everything in the box in the bag, and then they even give you a prepaid package label to wow. use. So it's all very convenient. Then I'll get the results back within probably let's say a week. Um, I can access them online. Great. And they'll send me a really beautiful report. And what they'll do uh, is. This is from a different company, but it looks something similar to this, very colorful. And they'll put all the symptoms that you marked into like a bar graph form and they'll categorize them. So like maybe you have insulin resistance symptoms or you have progesterone deficiency or progesterone excess, all categorized. So it's really wow. great for you to have. And then I'll get your levels of what they should be for a postmenopausal woman in your case or a premenopausal woman for other people. And then we can make uh, decisions based on what you, what we find. And the lab um, actually will put together a commentary on the very last part of the report. They compare your results to what you said was going on 
and then make suggestions and then I'll have my own suggestions. Okay, that's great. Yeah. So that will help us figure out exactly what's going on. So if you don't need, maybe you have too much estrogen or you have too little progesterone or you need DHEA, then I can actually tailor something for you, not just give you one prescription fits all kind of thing. Love it. So as far as preparing for the test, do I have to do anything the night before? Uh, yeah, so probably, so sometimes uh, our makeups, our, uh, mm -hmm. you know, cosmetics can have some hormone base to them. Oh. So uh, it would be a good idea to change your pillowcase the night before, change your hand towel, wash your face of all your makeup and the lipstick and all that so that doesn't, because as you spit in here you can see that would get into the tube and then it would contaminate it and make it look falsely high. Okay, that makes sense. And if your spouse is using any testosterone, that's another, you know, make sure that you've showered, all that kind of thing, get all the residue off so we don't measure any of that. Don't want any of that. No. No. So I'll have those results back in about a week to 10 days and then we can go over and then we can get you um, prescriptions if you need something to help you start feeling better. How does that sound? That sounds fantastic. Great. Thank you, Robin. You're welcome. Have a good day. Thank you. Okay, so that's our little skit on um, saliva testing. There's all different kinds of test mm -hmm. testing kits. There's kits on skin, what are... Yeah, some on fertility. Um, they even have some combination kits that you can do a blood spot where you don't even have to go to a lab. You can just prick your finger and it'll check your thyroid levels and okay. vitamin D levels. So that's some interesting um, ways to do it as well. Okay. Um, and then there are other companies too I should just throw out there. If you do have a family history of breast cancer, there's a company called Genova that you can do like a urine test and it checks to see what pathways uh, your hormones are going down because that's an important piece of information. This particular test does not, that's a limitation with this one. Okay. But it is a very good, very good test. It gives us a great idea about where to start. And with this test, it's not just for our menopausal ladies. It's for ladies that are younger too that have been on birth control or have PCOS mm -hmm. or things like that. So um, it's for anyone that needs to get their levels checked. So, I think that about covers yep, it. Yep, that's it. Yeah, so if you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, and as always, give us a call if you need something, and we'll see you next week. Bye from the Hormone Helpers. Bye.